Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining me today on this Monday afternoon. It is 4.19 p.m. Getting a very slow start to my day. I didn't feel like eating before this movement time, so I will be eating after and doing a bunch of other things. But I just really wanted to get my movement in right now since I've been taking the day very slowly. I'm grateful that you all are joining me here. It's always fun to do a challenge with people. So I'm glad that you're joining me. I'm still listening to the 90s workout on Spotify. It's probably going to be what I listen to till the end of this challenge because I just really enjoy it. So it's been what I've listening, been listening to since last week. It just has really good music to it and if I get, if my legs get tired, it, it makes me want to pedal more because of the music, so I'm excited to see how this week is going to go. Hopefully it will only get better from here on out. But we'll see. I know I'll be physically better no matter what, but life can be very unpredictable, so... And being at this level that I'm at on the bike so far is working out well. We'll see how I do on Tuesday when I up the level again. <laughs> but I'm very excited that we're at the end of the month and at the and almost at the start of July. Can't believe it. This month has gone by very fast since I started this challenge. How has your summer been treating you? Have you been on vacation or anything? For me, I haven't gone anywhere special yet. Haven't decided to, but I do want to go to the beach. I think that would be nice. It'd be fun to go to the beach. I've always liked walking near the ocean. But we'll see what happens. I have done some research on what riding the bike does and 
I was probably right in my earlier video whenever I said that it's not the seat on the bike, it's just that my muscles that I don't normally work out are getting tighter. And I come to find out with the research that I did, yes they are, so there's nothing wrong with the seat. It's just my muscles getting worked out and getting tighter, which is good. I mean, I'll still probably buy the seat cover to make it more padded, but other than that, there's nothing wrong with the bike. It's been holding up really well so far during this challenge. And it turns out there's a lot of health benefits from using a stationary bike or biking outside, so. Health for your heart and your lungs and all that stuff. So I'm glad that this is my third option. <laughs> It's a solid third decision. What's good is that I can do this anytime. It's not one of those seasonal things. that the start to your week has been going well. I've just been planning in my mind what I want to get done this week. I'm always planning something. <laughs> I wouldn't be me if I wasn't planning. And that it's good to have a plan for yourself. It can make life easier that way.
I'm very glad that you are joining me on this exercise challenge, the joyful movement challenge. As I said, I'm just doing this to add movement to my life. No other reason. Because everybody needs movement in their life. Just quiet because I'm concentrating on my breathing. <laughs> That's important to pay attention to your body. Almost at the halfway point. Just a few minutes and then we'll be there.
broken sleep definitely doesn't help. <laughs> I at least tried to get as much rest as I needed, but broken sleep didn't help. It happened, so. I do find that when I'm not riding the bike, I can sometimes have a hard time getting sleep. And then even sometimes when I do ride the bike, I can have a hard time getting good sleep. So it's really, it's really all a toss up, whatever my body decides to do. We are at the halfway point. Just 20 more minutes to go. We're making good time. I do believe that this is a purchase that I won't ever regret because I can get so much use out of it. And at any age too. Because at the research I was looking at, it even showed people way older than me doing the biking, so. I'm very young and very youthful, so, and also it said that biking keeps you aging very slowly, and being that I'm a natural redhead, I'm going to be aging slowly anyways, I'll just be aging super slowly, <laughs> which is going to be fun. And any good day is the perfect time to start taking control of getting movement in your life and making yourself physically well. Hey kid, don't ever let me get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. With everything you know that you can get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. I use them all to push me to my best. So treat the worst of times just like a test. If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything up, uh, will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, minutes. figure out what you like and Find That's your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help 
to contact the power company after my bike ride and see why they turned off the power because this doesn't normally happen so <laughs> I have questions you guys are with me in the dark I'm glad it's still sunny a long time. Because hopefully it will give them enough time to get the power back on before it gets dark. Hopefully. Because <laughs> I really need power so that I can eat and everything else I have to do. But it's we will bike in the dark together. Hopefully, like I said, in editing, I will be able to fix the lighting and make it a little brighter. <laughs> With this video, I'm gonna learn some more about editing. I guess I can thank my power company for that. I will learn a little bit more about editing and how to 
right in the video, hopefully. We're gonna finish this off. Only got 11 minutes left. I'm dedicated to the appointment I have with myself and you and the bike, no matter what happens. So we're just gonna get through this little technical difficulty for unknown reasons together. And finish off this ride strong. I'm also very glad that this doesn't have to be connected to any walls or anything because if it did, I wouldn't be biking with you right now. And I have a feeling that that would throw things off for me. So. Because once I get in the groove of doing something, I want to accomplish it. I like accomplishing the goals I make for myself, whether or not anybody knows about them. So, it's fine, there's only 10 more minutes left. We got this. Gotta see it through no matter what happens. So no matter if I'm in the dark, I'll be with you cheering myself and you on to keep going no matter what. It just adds another challenge to this video is all. <laughs> I had enjoyed just adding the music, but this is gonna be a whole new challenge. Going to the part in the video when the lights go out. Once I can finally get it uploaded. Making it brighter. I'm really hoping that there's a feature for that on the editor on YouTube. If not, we're going to be biking in the dark together. <laughs> and that's just how it's going to go. Because I am not re-recording this. Nope. Not going to happen. We're almost there though. We got it. Almost eight minutes left. Just gotta keep moving. And don't break your momentum until the timer says to stop. Just keep moving. That is what is best for your body and your mind and to keep up your momentum. So that's what we're going to do, no matter what. Thank you for joining me during this power outage. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. I really can't help it. It's hilarious. Is I set up just the perfect place to record everything with the best lighting. And I didn't calculate in, hey, well, what if the power goes out? No, I didn't calculate that part. Oh, we'll be.
gonna make the whole editing process slower though. <laughs> Unless the power comes back on. Hey! <laughs> we have power again! Yay! That didn't take too long. A couple minutes. I'm glad they got their their stuff figured out. <laughs> At least they won't have to edit the whole video. Just some parts. <laughs> It is interesting whenever I set out to make things visually appealing and just try and find the best location in my place of living to do videos and stuff like this happens. Unplanned. Just reality. <laughs> uh, I'm glad the power is back on though because it will mean that I can have everything set back up to normal and editing to won't take so long because it's only just a few minutes. Is definitely some comedy to add to my challenge though. <laughs> what do you do when you have to pedal in the dark and you didn't do anything to need to? <laughs> oh, life is hilarious. I gotta laugh at little things like that because I do everything as best as I can on my end of things and still sometimes it messes up on me. And it's completely out of my control what the power company decides to do, whether or not I pay them. So, I just do my part and hope for the best and pray for the best. That's about all you can really do. We're gonna finish out strong the last few minutes. Well, thank you for pedaling with me in the dark anyway. <laughs> I might just leave it dark because it's what happened. <laughs> uh, for the people that like to hang out with me for the 40 minutes and do a challenge with me, we'll go from the light to the dark and back to the light again. Literally. <laughs> It might be a little funny anyway. Then you guys can play the game of where is she? We can still hear her. You can see her a little bit, but where'd she go? Far, I give this bike that I bought a very good rating. We'll see how I feel about it <sighs> later on though once I'm done the challenge. Because this is only the beginning. I've only been using it for two weeks so far. This is the third week so I mean, it should be fine, but we'll see. I don't think it will break down in just a month, though. I 
am very grateful that you have been joining me on this challenge. It's nice to do a challenge with people and to stretch ourselves no matter what obstacles come our way. forward to biking with you all and moving our bodies together on Tuesday. We'll see what will happen then. <laughs> I'm just doing what I set out to do and whatever happens along the way happens. Just Gotta roll with it. So I really do hope to see you on Tuesday. It will be nice to move our bodies together again. And I do hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you for joining me for this bike ride. <laughs>